Welcome to Wine's Day, episode 9,854. That's our story and we're sticking to it. Prove me wrong. <laughs> There's no actual proof of what episode this is. So we are going with 9,854. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here. And we have some delightful stories to share with you this evening. As per the use. Per the use. And then we got some, we have our comments there. But in but in all seriousness, before we um, before we get started, we want to send our prayers uh, to the families in Kentucky who who have been um, just their impacted just completely impacted in every way shape or form and we want to give give us give as much love and support and prayers to these families and to every everyone who's been affected by a tragedy um you know the the school shootings obviously we're parents in here and the thought is uh it's terrible so we just want to wish you all um the best that we, you know, that we possibly can. I don't, I don't know that there are words for this. So I'd, I'd hug you. I'd like to hug you virtually. So it's very sad. So we are with you. Um, and on that note, um, just, just send prayers. They need prayers. Send prayers. Okay. <sighs> Uh, all right, so it is Wines Day. Uh, obviously, with it being episode 9,854, we've done this a time or two. A couple. A couple. And we do like to bring you the most thoroughly fact-checked news stories <laughs> out on the Internet. Because I'd like to say... Um, we have a crack team here at We do. The, the research team at That's Inappropriate always... Always, always, always double, triple, quadruple checks our stories. On the same page. <laughs> so <laughs> you can be sure that we what do, do <laughs> we do in fact scour TMZ, uh, Yahoo News, uh, <laughs> HuffPost uh, for all of the best stories. Um, because it is, it is really, it's important to us that you know that we are giving you um, all of the best news. So we we How my diet it's Superman. No. Oh, are you Superman? Well, they ask. They always ask what my T-shirt say. Superman. Yeah, Superman. He is a Superman. Hey, Jody. Hey, Heidi. Hey, Jessica. Mm -hmm. And Jillian. And Brian. And Sharon. And Jody. And Mary. And 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 Cheryl. You even did it in time to I the did, loading. I did because I was trying to get it you, for you it. You timed it to the loading. <laughs> and and Jill. <laughs> 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 Stephanie! Oh, you guys do not need me beatboxing. The dog is so not entertaining. Uh, she is. She, her ears are like... Rrr, rrr. All right. So, see her for, for realsies, though. So, realsies. Um, for realsies, though. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, we talked last week about this this Tide Pod challenge. How everybody has been coming out and don't saying... Don't eat laundry detergent. Let's not eat, you know, just like as a whole. Right. Don't eat laundry Avoid the detergent. jet dry as well. Uh, yeah, so it's so it's just a big firm no on the on these on the Tide Pod challenge. And Gronkowski came out and made a video about how he's sitting there. Tide like, did a cute thing he's with like, him. No, 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 no. And it's like, yeah, thanks, Gronk. Like, absolutely, no, 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 no. Don't eat the Tide. Okay. Well, although I, I want that gift for my text messages, I just want hey, like, I want I want a gift answer, Gronk going. No, no, no. Yeah, but that's because you're a Gronk fan. Okay? <laughs> I'm not going to tell everybody what he said about him, but hashtag double Gronk, hashtag Eric. Oh, that's an old one. That's an old one. That's I'm bringing back one. some old hashtags. Oh, that's right. So we have yeah, to remember. I was going to grab it. We right. have to stay current. Hashtag, hashtag of the, of the week. week. Hashtag of the week. Hashtag of the week. Okay, so we have to stay current. Do you see all of the new props here at That's Inappropriate for one thing? All is right. Is that a crack team? It is a crack team. Okay, so no. Sue, you may not eat Tide Pods. So, but here's the thing. It's like just one. No, no, none, none. none. Uh, but now donut shops, yeah, all over the place have decided. Hey, you know what would be really fun if we decorate the donuts like Tide Pods? And it's like, no, no, that wouldn't be fun if our already confused children who think it's okay yeah, to eat hard detergent. <laughs> if we now make food that yeah. looks like a Tide Pod, 
I think we're sending some mixed well, Maybe signals. we can make food that just looks like empty cans oh, and, and other inedible objects. No, they're, they're trying no, to say no, their, no. Their, their, their whole spiel is, this is what you can eat, eat and this donuts, is what you can't. Not Tide Pods. Yeah, okay, but, but you know what? Maybe we just make a, an a original sign. Boston cream, and it's like, <laughs> don't, eat don't have good. Don't, don't eat Tide. Tide Pods bad. Yeah, how about and just the donut that says, don't eat Tide? Yeah, but it literally does look like a Tide Pod. <laughs> it really does. And the, the article was like, mmm, this looks tasty, but can I? And it's like, no, no, you can't. And shame on whoever this was, this donut shop. Oh. Don't sell anybody food that resembles a Tide Pod. Oh no, okay? they're making shots at bars that look like it. They must like do the grenadine colors. Oh no, are they doing that too? See, you know, we gotta, we got I'm sorry that we're in a time and place in, in where humanity we to, where yeah. we have to tell people to not eat laundry detergent, but it is But the, we're here. But we're, we're here. here. We've arrived. We, we have arrived and we need to just say no. I feel like Barbara Bush. We need to just say no, okay? No drugs. Uh, some pearls and some curls. Yeah. <laughs> and a pink, a pink, um, uh, lady, blazer. lady blazer. Lady blazer. Lady blazer. Lady blazer. Lady blazer. <laughs> we are drinking mimosas tonight. So for any. What was, what was that from the office? What was it Mystique. called? Mystique. 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 <laughs> was like, was like, hey there. I think, I think that, uh, yeah. like a lady. I'm coming backwards. Yeah. Oh, Cheryl is saying they do have alcoholic drinks that are three layers that look like it. Mm. But yeah, no. No, 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 no. Oh, look, some say they're banning Boston, Boston, Boston cream, cream donuts, donuts for the Super Bowl. Get out of here. All right, so they might be, though. Okay. There was a funny story, and I don't really get into um, football. The foots but and we the balls. have the foots and the balls, not in that order. But we, we did watch these last couple of games. And what did they send him? They sent, they sent, what's his oh, name? Oh, so they, sent, they got, um, boor, uh, so Pittsburgh, Jacksonville, mm -hmm. when, Wait, when they played the first week. time, they, uh, Ben Roethlisberger, the Steelers had, or Ben himself had five turnovers. When five they played, turnovers. when they played the second much, time, that's a bad that's night. Bad. When they played the second time, he had three turnovers. So a bakery in Jacksonville sent him a box with Eight, eight turnovers. Delicious turnovers. Delicious turnovers. So he could sample the Jacksonville turnovers. <laughs> so he could sample what it's like to what bite a delicious into turnovers. a delicious turnover. <laughs> and I said that I was That's like, drag queen level shade. I was like, That is drag Whoa. queen level shade. I was like, that is a burn. That is a bakery burn. A okay? bakery burn. A bakery burn. burn. And Ooh. I sat there and I wondered. What's a Hawaiian mimosa? I don't, I don't know. know, but it sounds delightful. But, no, I do know. Your sister sent it to me. It's got pineapple juice in it. And... What's the, Changing what's the, life. what's coconut? coconut, what's the? Coconut sure. rum? In yeah. A, in a mimosa? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's a mimosa. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. So, um. Oh, oh Nancy, Nancy Reagan. Reagan. Nancy Reagan. Nancy Reagan. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, I can't claim Canadian status. I should have known that. That was Reagan. I don't know why I said Bush. I'm an idiot. All right. Okay, so moving on, because um, we're not big into football, but we did. I did think that that was <laughs> this delicious failure. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. thought it was so funny, yes. and I thought to myself, "Do you think he ate the turnovers?" I think he stomped on them. You think, think so? You think he like, threw them? Oh, they look good. I don't know. I don't know. He was probably like a holes. Yeah, you know what turnover? though? He's still Ben Roethlisberger. His his days are so stand. bad. Right, like, right, he wakes right. up. He wakes up and he's like. Ah, I'm still Ben Roethlisberger. I'm big, I'm big Ben, as they call him. All right, so we are not talking about this. This is our criminal news. Oh, we're saving that. Hold saving on. It. Crack saving team it. forgot to label this. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny, Sherry. What happened? She has a Patriots jersey with Blunt on it, who was a running back for the Patriots last year, but now he's a running back for the Eagles, who are playing the Patriots in Super Bowl. You lost me. That was Fly, enough. Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. I don't know. I don't know. All but right, go, go, thing. go. All right, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, All right, that sorry. was it. Okay, this talk. One. No, you tell this story. I didn't know this was a thing, but I have so many questions, and I just want to rattle them off. Okay, so, so set them up. in some Florida news, because you know there's always additional Florida news, but our first story out of Florida is a young woman in her 20s who has developed an attraction to inanimate objects. That's a thing. I do. People it's do a thing. That. Apparently, it's, called, it's a legit. Wait, is it a disorder? Object, it's, yeah. Objectophilia. Like we're calling that a disorder. Okay. Objectophilia. Objectophilia. Amophilia. It's, Sorry. It's, but I'm, I'm right. guessing, I'm guessing that's like, Object. Yeah, object. You, you have a sexual... Uh, Att attraction? Attraction to objects. Now... So you say, what is she sexually attracted to? So and she, I know your mind's going to all these different items in a household. You couldn't possibly, unless you, you saw the story, this. guess this. But so she came on the news... 
because somehow the news heard about this and they were like, we must have this young lady on. Yeah. And so she sits she's there. clearly breaking news. She sits there and they're like, so what is it that you want to do? And she's like, well, really soon I've decided that I'm going to marry. Straight face. Tetris. The game. <laughs> Tetris the game. Oh, does that one have a joystick? No. <laughs> so it's just buttons. Yep. She plays both on her Game Boy and at home on the television, but she said is it, he... Is it like fooling around with a different person if you so, move from the TV I to don't the know, Game Boy? but she my, my said... Thing is, there's different games. Like, which one? That's Tetris. what I said. I said, is it, is it like the little... The TI-81? Is it, is it the Tetris? one that's like in her house, like in a drawer somewhere, like the Nintendo game? Or is it like... Drawer. Is it oh, just wait, like wrong, Tetris? Wrong story. Is it just Tetris? <laughs> is it just Tetris in general? Like, if she walks by a video oh. arcade, is it like, hey there... Yeah, what happens? It's like I don't know. What if like, <laughs> what if like she sees the neighbor playing Tetris? Right, like, she get jealous. Did yeah. you, you play? You scum! <laughs> you hussy! Tramp playing with my Tetris. But she calls it he over and over and over oh, again. Oh, it's a he. He, and she said that I they see. have a very, very hot and heavy relationship. I used to dominate Tetris. Big or did time. he dominate you? <laughs> he I all, I know, all I know is this. I'm just baffled by this. But she said, I find him so attractive. She said, he is just beautiful. He's got all the right lines. She, <laughs> okay. So she said the best part about him, the most satisfying part is clearing the lines. Oh! Clearing the lines. Clearing the lines. So, so she, this anyway. apparently has been like since she was like eight or nine. And she said that it started. She used to have an attraction to. So she was like electrical, like electric, it. electric items, and the treadmill in her house. Oh God, the treadmill! I know most people hate that. Do they make a pill for this? I don't know. I don't know, but it's love. For the love, Matthew says, and that would be great. So here's the thing. Uh-oh. Oh, Uh-oh. Dominic Tetris. Dominic Tetris. Don't yeah. touch my block. Don't Hashtag touch, don't touch my block. Don't touch Hashtag my, don't touch my block. Hashtag don't touch my blocks. So yeah, so it's, it's, but, but why, it's like, it's like grade school. You love it. Why don't you marry it? You know, that whole line. Oh, you love it so much. Oh my gosh. When they it. divorce, is it like game over? Donna. Donna. It's game over. Game over. Hashtag game over. But Do you this get any extra lives? Uh, no. Is no. that a thing you, 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 you make No, you make the, the Russian castle take off. It was okay. awesome. I don't know about this and There's I need to stop. Yes. I don't remember castles. All right. I don't remember any well, castles. So this next story, this next story oh, was disturbing to me on a Lucy. few levels. But there's this photographer named Lucy Schultz. And she's a wedding photographer, and so... With apparently too much time. With way too much time on her hands. I'm, I'm she's sorry not- to interrupt, but Jillian just commented that she does not like Mexi Melts. What? She tried one? And she does Jilli- not like them. Jillian finally <laughs> tried one, and she does that not like... unacceptable in every way, it shape, or form. It was improperly prepared, yes, for sure. Yes, you had a wrong, you had a bad one. Here's the thing. There are I, no bad Mexi Melts. <laughs> what I have to tell you right now is very serious, Jillian. We also have Taco Bell news we in the, do have in Taco here Bell tonight. News. But I, I'm going to need you to personally apologize to the business <laughs> after the show. He's, going to, he's, very, he's deeply offended. I'm cool with it. You don't have to like a Mexi Melt. But anyway, all right. Okay, Kristen's let your like, love sack on me. Me- <laughs> Mexi Melts are delicious. All right. You have a fight? Is, right, it like, like, is a fight just like when you lose the level? Like, I lost! I don't know. Texas, I'm so mad at you. It's like, it's over. It's, it's like, over. no, I said it's over. It's, we need to stop. All right, so this woman, her name is Lucy Schultz, and she's a wedding photographer with apparently too much time on her hands because what she did was she created a 32-part photo series on Facebook where she... I want to have enough time to make a 32-part photo series about my family or my life. Well, she made a 32-part photo series about giving birth to a kitten. <laughs> and it she, was in fact, she, in fact, she's here, she's made it look like, like oh, she's holding her belly. Oh, her husband's oh, next to her, like, holding her hand. Like, oh, it is breathe, spectacular. Baby, breathe. And then you see, like, her knees are up here. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you just see this cat face. It's like, whoa, whoa, yeah. I did not see that kitten coming. Yeah. And I tell you what, it was, it was disturbing mm-hmm. on several levels. And then yeah. I was thinking to myself, how do you have that much time that you can take and make a 32-part photo series about giving Look, birth man, to your cat? She has something figured out. The internet's talking about it. Yeah, and it, it, look, it included the full gamut of birthing pics, the agony, the peekaboo <laughs> face, the exhausted mum, the astonished dad, and the baby all wrapped it's, up it's snugly. It is amazing. ridiculous. Except it's still a cat. 
it was. Anne was like, it was disturbing. So it was. Like, does this woman have children? No, she does I not. Can't possibly. Okay. No, she didn't. You used she to didn't. wrap the dog up. Swaddle the dog the, okay, and walk around. The dog with was it. cold. I still do that. Okay, the dog was cold. I still okay. swaddle my dog. I will swaddle. So I will swaddle the dog. Everywhere. I swaddle my dog. But I found it a little odd. I didn't take a birthing picture with with the poodles. Okay, Daff, we'll do it later. It's fine. Uh, Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. Mommy's here. Drop that kitten. Oh no. Well, I, w- yeah. I wonder if any, if people got upset because, I mean, where we did that. Lunch thing. People no, people hashtag understand. no job cat mom. Oh, she has a job. <laughs> she just she's a Denise, photographer. chili cheese burritos. No, we were can't delicious. go down, we we can't down, go down the Taco Bell oh, they were delicious. delicious. So this I didn't really understand, but apparently, like, I didn't know 50 Cent. Did I say it right? Oh, come 50. on. You know who 50 Cent no, is. No, that's not what I was going to say. I didn't know 50 Cent was... 50 Cent. 50 Cent. 50 Cent. I didn't right. know he was um, had gone bankrupt or was close to yeah. bankrupt like a lot over the past yeah. several years, like down in the pooper, like in the yeah, toilet, no, like his finances was... were super super rough. Well, apparently, as he says, swallowing a dog is totally acceptable. That's acceptable, right? We agree. Um, so, but apparently, he's been on and off like this bankruptcy thing for a while and then he started to do things started to do better he was he had this new album release but back in 2014 he actually was paid mm-hmm. with bitcoin cryptocurrency this is his, what we were talking about the other day for his album included his contract a for portion his album. of it was bitcoin Including like, Bitcoin. No, why not? So he was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. I'll take the Bitcoin, whatevs, yo. So then he forgets about it for several years. All of a sudden, he finds this account with 700 coins, which is now worth an estimated $7 million that he, so did, not not a bad know, day. That he no. did not know he had. It's like finding my, a dollar in your pocket. But my question is, how do you turn the, the coins into money? Pe- well, there's a secondary market. You can buy. You can buy. Anyway, this is it's cryptocurrency. You could turn it into money. They're not super liquid. But my thing is, if you're fifty cent, you probably know somebody who can convert that for you. I don't even understand what any of that meant. But I do. I also don't understand how anybody can forget they have seven million dollars on there. <laughs> I like, would oops. love. I would love I, to just oops. remember that I had seven million dollars. I wonder if Tetris dollars. girl has Bitcoin. You wonder if what? The girl Why? With, the, with Tetris, if they have Bitcoin. Do, 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 do. Because it's digital. She's got a digital thing. She's got a side thing with the Bitcoin. <laughs> Seriously, I'm also in love Bitcoin with Bitcoin. Bitcoin 9,854. Get out. Woo! But my point, but this was, like, I, I, okay, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole of Bitcoin because obviously I don't get it. Yes, Becca, I'm sure Craig could tell us. But it's it's <laughs> cryptocurrency. It's just like the same way we have gold, sta- we have gold standard money. Our money is backed by gold. I knew that. Okay. It's just a different... What is it backed by? It's cryptocurrency. It is. That's what bitcoins are. They're little encrypted formulas. But what makes it money? People someone. think that it's worth Never something. Never mind. I don't want to do this. No, that's Anything what makes that it has money. Value, if people if think someone it's thinks worth something, something has value, it's worth All something. All right, I can't. Just let me find a million. Warren Whitney Buffett says I don't says even no. need seven. Yeah, I don't. I don't even need seven. Just the one million. All right. <laughs> I'm really happy when I find a ten spot. Yeah, like, I'm like, I don't know. Woo, I ten bucks! I didn't I, know I had. Yes. Okay. So, but here's the thing. Either way, I found it very interesting. He's doing much better. If anybody was current about, it was, if anybody was concerned about fifty cents, he's fine. So don't worry. About it. All right. Moving on. You know, five dimes. <laughs> fifty cents is he's fine. Good. So this this next story hit me kind of hard because I, I had I don't know. This makes me blush. I don't know the I amount. Of, I don't know the amount of hours that I spent watching Barney. A lot. Not because I was watching it, but because no, my we younger were. siblings were. <laughs> and and I and I couldn't stand <laughs> this. I couldn't stand Barney any longer. I was so glad to see the show I eventually. Love you. I you love, love me. You. You love me. <laughs> so the big purple dinosaur. <laughs> Um, who who was portrayed from the early '90s through the early 2000s until his final? There day. were other characters. What was the the triceratops? There was the triceratops. The green one. Ba- baby 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 Bob. Bob. Baby Bob. Baby Bob. <laughs> I hated her. I wanted, to kick, I wanted to kick Baby Bob in the face. My brother had the tape and they would just watch it. Oh, bam, 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 bam. I wanted to punch Baby Bob in the face. I couldn't stand her. So anyway, and the Triceratops was rude, okay? He needed a timeout. So here's the Maybe thing. Maybe that was the moral of the story. So here's the thing. So this guy, his name is David Joyner. 
who played Barney, apparently just came out and they somebody did this like expose article on him. He is a He's been busy. He, he is a is tantric massage therapist. And so Okay, wait, I have to ask a question just for the room to make sure I have the right vocabulary. Tantric means like it's inherently like sexual, right? It's like in, it's, it's inherently it's sexual. Yeah. It's it's putting it's like going off, to the edge. It's putting it's off right. pleasure for a it's, certain period of time yeah. so that when you get to pleasure it's pleasure! <laughs> so it's so that's what at least from what I've read about this, okay. So I'm not, Barney so Barney was a tantric masseur all along. I don't know if he was masseuring during his dinosaur <laughs> days, but he is currently masseuring. And so David Joyner apparently charges female clients. He calls them goddesses, by the way. It's not a client or a customer. You're a goddess. Wow. Welcome. Welcome That's to my welcome, welcome, welcome to, to my, my my dinosaur day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was gross. So does he David, wear the Barney helmet while he does it? He wears the so Barney, David, he wears the Barney head while he's So David um, apparently charges these he charges female extra clients. For that. You want the tail? <laughs> he apparently charges. He takes, he takes the tail. Stop! Get that away from me. He ch- just can I please? Yes, All right. Yeah, he yeah. charges female clients three hundred and fifty dollars for a three to four hour session, which includes I don't know rich that. ritual bathing, which I don't know what that is. There's Sh- oils. Chakra balancing. Chakras. Chakra. Yeah, how many chakras? I, Twelve. Seven? Twelve. I don't know. I made that up. And a massage that will inevitably lead to mind-blowing orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> the office. But but the whole time you're with Barney. Yeah, but the whole time. <laughs> oh, he sounds like him. Too. Oh. Well, he is That's him. I know. Barney. He is Barney. And so I'm sitting here reading this, and I'm thinking to myself. No, no, no. Yeah, Holly, I want to no, know. No, no, I want to no, know no. if it sounds like Barney. No, no, no. <laughs> like, I just, I want to know. I want to know. And so he apparently got super perturbed at this article, and he claimed, in quotes, that the article was very anticlimactic. <laughs> I guess at so, least he has a sense of humor. I don't know that he does, but either way... If he made that joke, he does. Oh, getting rubbed down by Barney. Oh, wow. Oh, just wow. It That's is. That's all we've got. Yeah, I just... Uh, I, don't, I don't... I don't... I don't know. Mm. What's our picture of? Some goddess. That's the goddess. That's that's a post he put out. Oh, that's to talk his about, post? Yeah, to yeah. talk oh, about... Oh, so he's super, like, to talk about the, uh, too. Okay. So, here, and the give whole you time it smells like patchouli oil. <laughs> um, no, no. Okay. I think Barney's got I'm skills. I'm going to need you to come to the table. No. <laughs> We're going to give you a Stop. good round. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Hold on, kids. Wow, wow, wow. I can't. All right, I seriously. I can't. wonder if he uses I Barney do. voice. I do. Yeah. That's him right there. Yeah, I don't Ooh. know. Next. All right. Moving on. Moving right along. Oh, this is Ooh. yours. This hippo is yours. News. It's in, breaking hippo in break news. Out. <laughs> breaking hippo news. What have you got for us? It's Fiona the hippo's birthday. Oh, yeah. So officially, nothing else matters. Yeah. 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 I think her birthday. <laughs> She's is she just a year now or one how old year. is she? One year. One year. She was born one six weeks premature year. last year. Fiona the hippo has been hanging At out. Twenty nine pounds. She was born. Yes. Yeah. She's quite large now. She's 600 now. pounds now. 600. 600. And don't they get to be like a couple thousand? A lot. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how big hippos get, but they eat small boats. Yes. Small boats? Yes. Yeah. No, they they yes. grab them. They're some of the most vicious animals, animals in the wild. Hey, you know, that's the whole thing. It's like, y'all are really liking on Fiona, but if you two were put in a room together, she'd eat your face. Okay? Let's just remember no. that when we're over liking Look her page. Look at Fiona. She's a sweetheart. When you're over liking her page. She's yeah, she's... Been, She's. <laughs> I don't think they're like bloodthirsty. I don't think they're like stalking you. Can you see a hippo like stalking from the grass? They it's a keep, hippo. They come from under the water. Under the and water. They pop up and it's like. Rah! And Fiona's underwater pictures just look delightful. Well, because she's, she's like born I'm a delight. In a zoo, it's a yeah. little different. She nah. was. She's not out from. See, everyone loves her. Don't get off. Of course, everybody loves her. Everyone's on the Fiona train. Fine, fine, fine. Breaking Fiona news. All right, so she's a year. Happy birthday. Yay. <laughs> oh, Duchess news. You've got Duchess news. Oh. Breaking right Duchess too. news. Breaking Duchess news. Someone sent us this um, very important information. Yes. Very, very important. 
So if you're wondering what happens to Meghan Markle once she is Dutch. Because <laughs> Markle is that minute. what we're calling well, it? What is this yeah. segment? The Markle, Markle minute. minute. D- so you know, we're calling it getting Dutched. Getting Dutched. I'm getting Dutched. She's getting um, Dutched. Not to be confused with going to Amsterdam. Um, so she's getting Dutched. But, but the royal family doesn't actually have a last name. It's no. like not a thing. Like, no. Like, so, like, you have a surname, that's your last name, sometimes you take the husband, sometimes you don't, whatever, you hyphenate. Um, Megan's new name is going to be Rachel Megan Mountbatten Windsor. <laughs> Wait, Rachel? 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 Megan. Megan. Because her legal name is actually Rachel Megan Markle. Heather Feather Potato <laughs> Windsor? No. What was it again? Rachel, Rachel Megan, Megan Mountbatten Windsor. Lasagna quarter <laughs> Windsor. What I, I think I would, I would die a happy man if my if I just got to put Windsor on the end of anything. Oh, good lord! Oh. Look, you've been Dutch, okay? <laughs> but seriously, Sherry's like I'm Going Dutch. Dutch. Going Dutch, but here, but here's the thing for Shirzy McTurzies, this is going to be Mount Batten Windsor, mm-hmm. Mount Batten Windsor. It sounds and like you know macaroni be- salad <laughs> dinner. Like I don't I, know. I just I want the like I'm imagining some fancy British party with the guy that like announces the guests. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, like when you walk into the ball. Yes, it's like trumpet, and then it's like, <laughs> and here it comes Rachel Megan Mountbatten wins up. <laughs> like I'm just, I'm waiting for it. And I'm sure there are ribbon dancers, and they're twirling, and they're and twirling. And a tantric masseur in the. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I do and not a think. Concert. I do not think the Queen wants any of that. Okay. All right. So Queen is a Windsor. Well, that's the whole thing, right? Welcome, Brandy. Yes. Yeah. They're and, asking about your braces. Yes, I have. So I had braces this entire time you just couldn't see them because I was using Invisalign but apparently my snaggle tooth wouldn't cooperate and the dentist was like well you have a few options you can wear Invisalign for like mm, the next seven years or I can stick braces on because I can't take them in and out so I shall I shall suffer for the next 12 months the bottoms go on next month so yes it's a bit confusing and off-putting I understand but they're attached to my face now so there you go all right so yes and you have all been everybody who's commented though has been very delightful and said that i look adorable they're they're lining up quickly like little soldiers it is a little weird all right a little weird mind your business (laughs) you don't have to mind your business business here it's totally cool and yes they are braces oh more exciting news so, um, just like we're big on horses here and, and we trade, you know, like an expensive horse, like the, the, the breeder horses, like they can be hundreds of thousands and I think even millions of dollars, right? Wow, like, a horse is yeah, a million dollars? Yeah, yeah, oh no, it's like crazy money. No. Yeah, yeah no. you just stud you for stud pay, services. You can pay like $100,000 for stud services. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Do so, they do it by themselves? I think it's assisted. I don't want that job. No. So in in Saudi Arabia, it's camels. Camels are and big. And we are right now in yes. the middle of the world's biggest camel beauty pageant. But scandal is afoot. <gasps> it's camel. Uh-huh. It's camel afoot. I don't know. I, there's some joke there. I can't make it. It's, it, there's, it's a hoof. It, there's there's scandal afoot. Scandal and hump. What is the scandal? What is the scandal? Do you know? Not what you're going to expect. Not what you're expecting. So do you know one of the things that makes a camel really like beautiful? Luscious lips. Oh, I was gonna go with big old humps. And they're giving these poor camels Botox <laughs> in their lips oh, man. to make them look plump. That's terrible. Yeah. So now they're they're throwing out all these camels out of the. You're out of the beauty pageant. Ah! And what if you're the camel who who obviously didn't ask for Botox, and you're sitting there as like, I'm oh, in. It wasn't my fault. I didn't want to. He made me. <laughs> I mean, and you really. That's not fair to the camel. It's not like the camel controls that it gets Botox. That's not fair. You should kick out the owner and let the camel keep trotting. That's not I, nice. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I can't. The moral of the story is don't give your camel Botox. No. The moral of the story is hashtag camel toe scandal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're doing. Hashtag camel lip scandal. <laughs> oh, stop. Stop. I didn't do it. It was in the feed. I oh, can't take credit. Stop. Yep, 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 oh, yep. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. All right. It's assisted. The mouth w- mounts. Oh, they're oh, explaining. Whoa! 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 No, they're, whoa! they're explaining whoa! How, how the horse breathes. Yeah, works. I don't need to know that. 
that. Um, thank no, you, though. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. thank you, though. No. It's cool, 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 cool. No. I don't really cool, need cool, to know. Cool, cool, cool. cool, cool. Oh, so. No. Yeah. Oh, somebody was in here calling me annoying, and they're yelling at me. It's, it's okay. the story of my life. It's um, okay. Don't worry. So, you know the most, um, the annoying and the, the weird kids? They're the, they're the talented ones. The annoying weird kids? I yeah, have because you have a story to tell. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. So, breaking Taco Bell news. This is the, for this the business manager. This is breaking manager. Taco Bell. This was just for him. Yes, yes, yes. So, a Taco Bell in Alabama burns to the ground. That's sad. Burns oh. to the ground. And How the many local, Mexi melts perish? I don't know. A lot. It was tragic. Yeah. The local Taco Bell fanatics were so upset oh. that they planned a vigil. <laughs> This was Nacho Standard Vigil. <laughs> I can't even this, say it with a straight face. This I was Nacho there. Standard Vigil. Vigil. Okay, they everybody. Congregated and held candles around <laughs> the carcass of the burned out store. I wonder if it still smelled like taco meat. I have news oh, for you. Delicious. If that happened here, not only would he cry because Taco Bell is only a few minutes from our home, but which is a problem. But he would go and probably like stand there and like like pitch a tent until okay. they rebuild. But I I have a connection to this Taco Bell. Because he was two-time employee of the month. Employee we the all month. know. I, I was one of the first employees ever hired there when the store was built. That and just then makes us old. Two-time yeah. employee of the month. Okay, That's well, I'm really proud yeah. of you. Alexandra says there are no Maxi Melts in the UK. <gasps> oh, that's sad. I would move. Yeah, you mm-hmm. should probably yeah, move on, on the whole account the whole for the country. fact that you don't, can't get a Maxi yep. Melt. I got yeah. noodles at the Japanese McDonald's. No, no, yeah, no. that's a thing. That's blasphemy. Mm, all right, thing. all right. So we've we've done ca- camel beauty pageants. Oh my goodness! I have one more story for you guys. Well, we still have criminal before news. the criminal news. Criminal and but I d- I do have this, and it's so horrifying that I hesitate to even share it. I don't know if I can. I don't know. If I, I don't know what picture he got, it. but I'm not going to look at the screen because I can't see the picture. So man it's reports man reports to the ER mm-hmm. in Fresno. And says, um, I need to see a doctor right away. So I say, you okay? <laughs> Went down the wrong way. <laughs> so he goes, I need to see a doctor right away. Doctor says, what's the matter? Well, I'm having diarrhea and I'm bleeding. And oh, by the way, I have the worms. <laughs> and, and the doctor's like, the doctor's so like, funny. no, like okay. you, you probably don't have worms. They're like, but it's like, really not that it's common. Really not that People common. think it is. It's like, not. We'll, you we'll check you, you out, but whatever. So then he goes, and what's that bag you have with you? Well, I and he brought goes, a bag. Well, that's one of the worms. Of worms. So he's like, one of the worms? So he goes, yeah. So the doctor opens up the bag, and he takes out the toilet paper roll, and wrapped around the toilet paper roll is what looks to be a gigantic tapeworm. Looks so the be? man then tells the story about when it's coming out. No! He pulls out a tapeworm that was as long as he is tall. Oh. And once it was out of his body, it started to move. No! Do you know how they think he caught it? Sushi. Yeah. If you're Salmon. a sushi oh. lover, it's the sushi guy. Is this the sushi guy? Oh. Yes. But I have so many questions that I don't, I don't know what I have answers to. I like, love salmon like, sushi. Like, what happens oh. when you're on the pot and you're like, ah, and then you look down and it's like, and, it's like ah, 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 and then you go grab it and then what happens when you're like, ah, ah, is, it, is it like a chip? I don't think it like it. shoots back in. What if it oh. does? What if you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Right, and then you have to go in there and it's oh. like grabbing and, like, yeah. and then you're pulling and it's this entire, what if it's like tug of war? I, I don't know. Ooh. I don't I know. I think I would quit. I don't know. Aunt Pat, Aunt Pat, we wanted to die and all we did was read the story. No, it was so I feel, bad. I feel like I'd have to go in and be I, like, I couldn't you even. just have to knock me out and then cut it out. Like, I just, I don't think I'll, I, I, I don't couldn't even remember. get the pictures for it. It was so gross. But here's the other thing, too. The, here's my other question, Becca, too. I love sushi, too. I'm horrified. Now, okay, know, but I will say. How do you know that you got this, them all? I think they, like, poison them and they pass. But, like, the, but what, here's what I'm what saying. What happens this, when you poop them out? Yeah, they come out. Ah! So the, this guy was eating like hardcore. He was eating. He was raw. eating sashimi. He was eating raw sashimi. He said daily. She's gone, Mercedes. So this wasn't. This wasn't like I have a sushi roll like you know once or twice a week. This is like I eat raw fish for lunch every day. Sashimi. Sashimi. It's like, like, like sliced like, fish. Like, oh here. <laughs> that's it. Like that's sashimi. Yeah, and I, Mercedes. And I've had yeah. sashimi. I will never have it again after this story. 
But I have had sashimi before. Yeah. I've got yeah. the shakes. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, here's the thing, okay? If I ever call you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not helping you pull it out. Okay, here's my no. question. Here's call my question. Call the business manager. Wait, wait, I, uh, I come in and be like, oh, oh, my face. But here's my real question. But here's my real question, okay? Because here's the thing. When you're really good friends with somebody, you will cross se- several lines. There are a lot that, of lines right? that will wait, cross. Wait, let me finish. I, okay. Would you pop a zit for me? Probably. Okay. Would you assist me with an ingrown hair in a special place? Yeah. Will you pull a tapeworm nope. out of my ass? Nope. Nope. I won't pull it out of my own ass. I would need medical attention. I get, Do you know what this man gets? He gets, like, the hero award for getting himself into the doctor and carrying the freaking thing with him. Do you know if I got that out of my body, I'd be like, light it on fire. Light it on fire. Light my body on fire. I don't think I can do it anymore. <laughs> like, if I saw it, like, oh, falling out. Hashtag Whoa. of the week. Sushi poop knife. Oh. Uh, hashtag sushi poop knife. What That's our winner. Uh, and it was like, uh, no, they don't, they don't bite. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. They nice might one, bite. You don't know. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm so out. I'm so out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so breaking criminal news because uh. we have to move on. I can't even think about it any longer. Somewhere, 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 the sushi industry is like, thanks, that's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for spreading this story just a little bit more. Well, I didn't really do much. I mean, no. this well, guy telling... Well, poop out a worm. If I ever do, <laughs> yeah. you'll be the first I'm not, to I'm not helping you. You better help I'm, me. I'll call someone. Do I need to tell everybody what I've done for you? You do. Yeah, Kristen. Kristen. I'll tell a story. I, I will tell a Brian, story right now. It had to be super you said painful. That story before. Not on be here. Super painful. No, I wrote it in the book, but I'll share everybody if you want me to. So this is what happened. Oh. We were we were recently married. Okay, not even a year, I don't think. And the business manager goes and decides to have his appendix burst. Oh yeah. Jeez, what a as one missed, what a jerk. missed my best friend's you, wedding. Would you plan that? Yep. He was he was the best man in his best friend's wedding. All of a sudden, he wakes up telling me he doesn't feel well. So I'm like, all right, so you have a cold, and and I I was like, ooh, no, you're actually really warm. Like, did I think you run you have a fever? fever? So it like yes. burst, burst. No, no, you his was bad. So he, then I tried to bring him Chinese food. And he wouldn't eat. And I knew. And you were like, oh, oh no. God. So <laughs> oh, really no. bad. He's very sick. He's not eating Chinese food. He's running a fever. What do we do? Well, we eventually end up, because the abdominal pain was so bad, into the emergency room. Long story short, the appendix burst in his body, leaking all the bad fluids, blah, blah, blah. They rush him off to surgery. They will not let you go to the bath. They will not let you leave the hospital until, until you, you go, go to, to the, the bathroom. bathroom. The rule is you have to do a BM. Uh, before you, which is a bowel movement, for those of you non-medical, because um, <laughs> obviously I know my terms, so um, it's the only term I know. It, bowel movement. You have to go and you have to take crap before they let you out of the hospital. Well, the BM had not produced a BM. So the nurse walks in and she says to me, she goes like this with the gloves, snap, snap. Was it just like that? It was she like that. snap, snap. It was like that Blink-182 album. And she, and she had a suppository, and she looked at him, and she goes... And it wasn't probably the little dainty nurse. It was probably uh, like... I don't remember. He'll go. He'll go <laughs> but she looked at him, and I was standing on the other side of the bed, and she said, either I can do it, or she can do it. And I went... Oh, no. <laughs> and he looked at me, and he goes, her. I'll let her do it. <laughs> delivery and so as I'm walking out of the room to go light my hands on the fire nurse was like, Yay. The, the, the nurse goes oh bless your heart I would have never done that for my boyfriend and I said if he was my boyfriend I wouldn't have done it either <laughs> I've already married him uh, so the ship is I sailed I purchased this cow so yes yeah, so I'm just saying you better pull a tapeworm out of my butt because I have already done things I don't know I think tapeworm is tape worse. Worse. more commitment I feel no, like the tapeworm is bigger no. commitment. I don't know Somebody's pulling Look, out of my Look, if she's got a tapeworm, you've probably got them, too. So, <laughs> <laughs> you can just pull them out of each other. Oh, it's a really On the mean love game. toilet. Oh, <laughs> sit on the love it's toilet. It's a really mean game. I have to move on. My brain is okay. on fire. All right, so in criminal news, 
Florida man. Florida, Florida man. man. Florida, Florida man. man. Florida man. It's always a Florida man. Probably has a face tattoo. No, he didn't. Probably. So he's planning one. <laughs> authorities say a Florida man Sing was charged with driving under the influence. Wah, wah. He ends up in the drive through teller lane of Bank of America. Mm -hmm. As you do when I'm DUIing. The, the teller says to a manager... Oh, it was daytime. It was 2 o'clock oh, in the afternoon. Oh, this is fantastic. So two he's wasted driving around. Don't drink a drive, don't drink a drive, don't right, drink a drive. don't. So the, the teller is like... Says to the manager, I've repeatedly tried to get the guy in the car outside to wake up, but he's asleep, he's just at, the asleep wheel. at the wheel. So the manager so probably walks thinking, out. Like, God damn stroke. Yeah. So the manager walks out and he's pounding on the window and he's like, Sir, sir, sir. Finally, the guy wakes up. He rolls the window down and he goes, Where's my burrito? And he goes, I'm sorry, what? And he goes, <laughs> I ordered a burrito. And he's like, you're at Bank of America. And he goes, no, I'm not. I'm at Taco Bell. And it's like, no, you're not. You're at Bank of America. I would have, I would have been like, no, I'm sorry. This is Chipotle. <laughs> so, so the guy goes, what? And he goes, you're at Bank of America and, and you're asleep. And he's like, no, I'm not. So he drives off, doesn't make it a quarter mile, passes out behind the wheel, car stops. He was stops. very intoxicated. He was very drunk. Obviously, they call the cops. The cops right. show up. They go to the car. Right. They get him out of the car, ask him to do a field sobriety test, and he just goes, no, I'm good. And he sits down. But my, my thing out. is, well, I so guess the bank fail, can you fail, the, do you fail the test if you don't take it? Yes. No, you, you get automatically get arrested. If you don't oh, blow. Oh, they do a blood test. If you don't so blow. So my thing is, he's really, really drunk. It's a daytime business hours. <laughs> the bank is open. It was two in the afternoon. Look. It was, he was a rough It was day, day drinking on a Tuesday. <laughs> Don't get in your car when you day drink Becca, on a Tuesday. Stay at stories. home. I have some stories about banking. Just stay at home. What I'm saying is if you're going to day drink on a Tuesday, you just make that your entire day yeah. and just let it yeah. be. Don't go couch, to the bank. Couch drink. Yeah, don't go to the bank and yeah. think that you're at Taco don't, Bell. Don't, don't do that. Cursing at the manager, you didn't give me my number two with a with a cinnamon <laughs> twist. Order number so, six. Where are my empanadas? So if if you, yeah, I was searching some combination of drinking or drunken Taco Bell, and there's a series of photos of just random college kids passed out in Taco Bells, oh. and they're like, Taco Bell is the international. House of a house of a house or keeper well, of. Well, I have to be honest. Anytime we've been a bit tipsy, we always stop. We always stop at Taco. Now, none of us are ever driving. No, we have a tray for that. Yeah, I have a tray. But um, the business manager, anytime we go out and we've had a couple of drinks, it's like, can we stop at Taco Bell on the way home? And it's yeah. like, oh, I, yeah. I've, I've fallen asleep taking a no, nap. No, no. I've taken a nap at a Denny's before. No, that you're happened. not taking a nap. You were past the out. All right. So, <laughs> in that news. You are welcome for another welcome, Wednesday episode. Welcome. 9,854, which in fact brought to you such news as nobody cares about Fiona's <laughs> birthday and um, drunk Taco Bell guy that was actually ha at a bed. Everyone hashtag. cares about Fiona's birthday. Clack. No, clack. clack. Hashtag sushi poop knife. Oh. No. Hashtag camel lips. <laughs> <laughs> Camel lip um secrets. Scandal. Camel lip scandal. Yeah. Alright, good night. Alright guys, night. we'll see you we'll see you we'll see you Friday. Yeah. For bulletproof. Every Friday, fire away. Bulletproof. Fire away.